Hello guys, and today I want to talk about the Winnipeg Jets' very own Patrick Laine. Now, Patrick Laine drafted the second overall in the 2016 draft. Of course, all of you guys know him, and if not all of you guys, then most of you guys. But at age 19 already, he has 139 games played and 74 goals. That's absolutely brilliant. And really, with those numbers, I don't really have to tell you guys twice that he's a really, really good player. Now, this season, he has 66 games played, 38 goals. That's second in the NHL, only first to Alex Ovechkin, who has 40 goals. It, it's a, basically a wide phenomenon right now. He's doing fantastic. He just got a hat trick the other night against the New York Rangers. He's just playing fantastic, and he's really been hot lately. He started off the season kind of cold. You know, he wasn't scoring that many goals, but really, in the past couple of months, he's just been on fire. Now let's compare him to Alex Ovechkin, who his first rookie season was at age 20, so he is a full year ahead of Patrick Laine, but his rookie season, he had 52 goals, of course, a legendary rookie season, who is phenomenal. Now, Patrick Laine, he's going to get to 40 goals, and that's pretty much a given at this point. He might get to 55, and at age 19, to get the 45 goals, that would just be ridiculous. And he already is an amazing player. Um, he lights up the league. He has loads of hat tricks already in the NHL. He's just, uh, just a fantastic player and, of course, probably going to be the next generation of goal scoring. Now, Patrick Laine is the third player in NHL history to score four-plus hat tricks before the age of 20. Now, it's not really surprising. Two of them are against my Dallas Stars, which just sucks. But he's a fantastic goal scorer. And, of course, he scores in bunches, too. Um, he loves to get those hat tricks and he's done it lately as well i think it's two this year already and he's already playing well and he's already getting loads of them but to be just a third player in nhl history to do something you know that's pretty elite territory to say the least now i don't think line a will get quite to alex ovechkin's goal numbers and go totals for his career um ovechkin still isn't done necessarily but he's going to kind of wind down as the years keep going um but i think line a will be close to ovechkin not exactly Ovechkin numbers, but he'll be pretty damn close. He won't be just neck and neck with him, but I think he'll be closer than a lot of people will think. He's a, He'll probably be the next generation of goal scoring. He'll probably win a few Rocket Richards, at least a couple, and he'll definitely dominate the next, I'd say, five years once, especially once Ovechkin, I guess, kind of slows down. Um, I think Patrick Laine will become and step up as the new just elite goal scorer. Now, Ovechkin's getting up there in age. I think he's almost 32 years old. He's going to start to decline in the next three years or so. And, of course, he's not going to play like he has this season for the next five years. And, of course, Patrick Laine is young enough. He's 19 right now. Well, when he'll still be in his prime when Ovechkin retires. He'll still be, like, I'd say, like, I don't know how long Ovechkin will go, but he'll probably be around the 25, 26 range, at least Laine will, when Ovi retires. And, of course, that's still prime years for a play right there. And that's still going to be a great just a great step up for him he's probably going to be the next like generational goal scorer um besides Ovechkin you know like the last 10 last decade was Ovechkin and now the next decade this year decade will be the line of years and I think that's definitely the generation that Lightning will dominate in it's similar to the Ovechkin Crosby debate where it's Line and McDavid. Um, Line a brilliant goal scorer, and, and McDavid, the generational talent right there with the, both the playmaking and the goal scoring. It's similar to the Crosby Ovechkin, and I think it's a similar, um, I guess, similarity there, which you can um, parallel there. But, uh, but, of course, it is a good comparison because Line is the elite goal scorer, the generational goal scorer that he is becoming right now. On the age 19, he's already an elite guy in the NHL, while McDavid is of course, the playmaker and the just generational talents on uh, at that center core, um, and it's probably it's a good similarity there with the Crosby Ovechkin and the Pat and the McDavid and Line A comparison. I don't think the Line A Ovechkin comparison is too far off. I don't think that Line A will get to Ovechkin numbers, but I think that Line A will be close to him. Both to, both players were elite at their age, and Line A is a year younger, and he's uh, basically close to Ovechkin numbers. Now there is a less goal scoring than there was ten years ago, where Ovechkin dominated. So that's even more of a reason to say that it's a close comparison to Line and Ovechkin. Both teams, both players really were dominant to start their careers and both team, both guys are similar in that way. It also definitely helps that Line A has an amazing offensive core around him. You know, he got Shifley Wheeler. There's tons of guys that are around him that he'll play well with. Of course, there's lots of good playmakers on the team, which definitely helps a sniper that needs the passes to come to him. Um, and I'm not saying that Ovechkin has less food talent because he got he has like Kuznetsov, Backstrom, but Line A already at age 19 has just an fan, just a phenomenal, uh, I guess, forward group with him, and that definitely helps. And for Lane already tearing up the league at age 19, it just goes to show how the talent level for him is 
off the charts and how impressive he is early in his career. And of course, it's just scary to think at already in age 19, he's tearing up the league. Just imagine how he'll num his numbers will look like 20 years into the future and how they'll stack up to other legends in the game of the past and the future. Now, even though this video isn't about his all-around game, of course, his defense isn't that great. He is more of a focused guy of the goal-scoring department. Of course, like Alex Ovechkin, he's not great defensively, but Patrick Laine, of course, specializes in the goal department. He's not bad assist-wise. He still gets him his fair share of points, um, just, well, both assist-wise, of course, having great teammates along with him still helps on that department, and still goal-scoring is his specialty, so I can't really harp him on that. At least he's scoring more goals than he's giving up. But really, Patrick Laine is going to be a force to be reckoned with throughout the league for the next 10 years and maybe even onwards. He's going to be fantastic. He's probably going to be the best goal scorer for quite a little while in the league in the NHL, unless somebody else surpasses him, unless somebody else comes forward and really takes that. But I don't really think that's happening. I think Patrick Laine is going to be the best guy that specializes in goal scoring. I think that he will pass Ovechkin, in the, at least in the next couple of years. I don't know if Ovechkin will slow down in the next couple of years, but Laine will be the next guy to surpass pass him and be the next generational goal scorer in the NHL. That's going on guys, like, subscribe, do not ring that bell if you haven't, and I'll see you guys later, and uh, he really thinks he speaks that beard, doesn't he?